Every time you sit down and try to watch a player with fresh eyes, you're hopeful, or at least I'm hopeful, that I'm about to watch someone new and interesting. It won't be all sunshine and rainbows today on the Tyrone Tracy profile, but I have found a lot to like in the game of the Purdue running back. We do have full combine measurements now, so Tyrone Tracy, 5'11", 1 8 inch, 209 pounds, and 76th percentile arm length. Uh, I just bring that up. I usually don't talk about arm length with running backs, but it's important to note that Tyrone Tracy used to play wide receiver. And when you really look at it, he does have quite the wide receivers build. Unlike some of these uh, transitional players who look a lot like running backs when they get to the position, Tracy still has a little bit of wide receiver in his build. Uh, Tracy ran a 4.48 at the combine, 94th percentile broad jump, 85th percentile vert, 90th percentile three cone. He did all of the events and got an official 9.77 out of 10 on the relative athletic score. So all of that stuff is just great. A plus, A plus plus, incredible athletic testing for Tyrone Tracy. Now, one downside on the objectives is that his age is 24 years, nine months as of September 1st, meaning just like Ray Davis, he will be turning 25 years old in November. So what is the big reason for Tyrone Tracy you know, being this older running back and not being noticed earlier. And the main reason is he's a position change guy. As I mentioned earlier, he used to play wide receiver. He started out playing wide receiver for Iowa, which in general is really hard to, you know, that's a very hard position to play because they don't throw the ball that much. They don't throw the ball to the wide receivers that much. That's why the tight ends get so much credit and talked about and get opportunities aside from being as big as they are often and as athletic as they are often, they get opportunities to be the number one receiver on these teams, the tight ends for Iowa. And so, you know, wide receivers for Iowa don't get that many looks. And so it's hard to know, I think, for a player if they're just not developing or if it's a part of the system. So I do kind of blame that whole situation with Iowa for for the long transitionary period. But it's important to note that in the five years, because he did start college in 2018, in the first five years he played in the Big Ten, he had 33 rush attempts and 94 receptions. So he had more receptions than rush attempts in each of these first five seasons. It wasn't until 2023 that he was more featured as a running back, more as the number two running back, so not really featured, and he had 113 attempts with 19 receptions. The 113 attempts being a very clear career high, and with the 33 before, he had 146 attempts through six years of college. So Ray Davis, again, also 25 in November, but these are very different profiles because Ray Davis is a far, far, far more proven running back and one of the things that I like the most about Ray Davis is that he dominated backfields every time he had opportunities that weren't uh, subject to things like COVID-19 or injury. That's why I love Ray Davis. Tyrone Tracy was just you know a wide receiver, so that's obviously a different thing. But even when he was a running back, he didn't dominate the backfield that he was in. He was more of the 1B. So that's a very different thing. And with only 146 career carries through six years, there's a lot of questions with Tyrone Tracy. So why are we discussing Tyrone Tracy then? Well, I mean, I guess the 9.77 RAS score gives it away a little bit, but despite being a bit unnatural looking as a running back because of the recent switch to the position, there are just a lot of really nice things that Tyrone Tracy does that intrigue you a bit. And again, it looks goofy and it looks a little off because the footwork's very sloppy and it's not, it looks like a guy who hasn't been playing running back recently. But aside from just the things that show up on the combine page, I think his balance is very, very good as running back and natural. I think he's laterally explosive. And, you know, Isaac Garendo is somebody who we've also talked about on the show, also had an elite RAS score. In fact, a better RAS score than Tyrone Tracy. But despite the fact that I was wrong about his three cone and his ability to test well as a three cone, Isaac Rendo is still not a loose runner. I don't know what causes him to be able to do both the 40 and the three cone very, very well, but there's really nothing loose about his game and laterally explosive. It's very downhill. Tyrone Tracy is a very, very good 
lateral mover for someone who can be so explosively fast. So while Tyrone Tracy isn't necessarily great at some of these specific running back things, and again, it looks a little awkward, and I don't know if that's going to translate well at the next level because I do think he needs to learn how to do some more running back things and learn how to do them consistently. But at the end of the day, when the balance shows up, when the missed force tackle shows up, and then for our game specifically, Tyrone Tracy has incredible upside because of the PPR upside and being a former receiver. You can see on tape, even though he doesn't have a ton of targets, maybe you can see him as a running back, for instance, making some very natural catches away from his body, right? He's, he's going to be not necessarily going to be as being a wide receiver, but in this case, he is a very nice natural hands catcher that just plucks the ball out of the air away from his body really nicely. And when you consider again, that he has very long arms for running back, he's a 5'11 running back. So he's decently sized. This is a guy who a lot of the running backs in this class, especially outside of the top three, four, five, six guys, these guys are running backs who are maybe good at two down backs or good third down backs. Tyrone Tracy represents one of the only running backs that I've watched outside of the top five or six where I do see, even if it's a long shot, the way that he can be a three down back. So in this running back class where there is a bit of a lack of upside, Tracy is a sleeper that checks a lot of boxes outside of the refinement. And if you get that long shot refinement, Tracy is one of the few sleeper backs in this class with true three down potential. And I think that's worth keeping an eye on. And so that's why Tracy, I don't want to rank them. I don't really want to rank any running back right now outside of my top six, because it's just fluid and changing so much. And there's so many roles around it. But if you were asking me outside my top six, who a running back was that I thought had the most upside as a three down running back, it might very well be at this point, Tyrone Tracy.